Mr. McDonald of Imagine Canada, I, uh, time uh, doesn't give me the opportunity to ask as much as I'd like, uh, your, but your second, Mr. Uh, Van Kester, I think, asked about your third recommendation. I'd like to ask about the second, you know, the merchant fees on, uh, on credit cards and how that, would, how that affects or should affect uh, charities. Could you elaborate on that recommendation? I mean, I mean the, the bottom line is yes, what, please. what we'd like to have is the ability for charities to realize more of the dollars that are in fact donated when the purchase, when the, when the transaction goes through uh, a credit card. So they're paying merchant fees um, and if there's an opportunity to mirror what's happening in other jurisdictions where we're seeing a reduction in those fees for charities, then ultimately the donors' dollars are now going to the mission and cause that they would like to see. Okay. And now, the bu budget 2013, as you referenced, has a super credit. Yes. Uh, have, is it too early to tell how well that's working? Um, with, with numbers, yes. I can tell you as someone who I'm, I'm fairly new to imagine and was with an organization on the ground, we were promoting it. We were hearing good things from, from our uh, local organizations in the field. Um, and there was a, a good awareness. Um, so they're really targeting young donors to be able to come into the, into the sector. Okay. On the stretch tax, tax credit, of course, you rightly said we've heard a lot from yep. constituents. I've heard from the Victoria Foundation. I'm sure my colleagues have had similar entreaties from the sector. Um, the idea is it would change your behavior because it only triggers a government investment to this tax, stretch tax credit when you've changed it over the preceding year. Yes. So has there been any costing of that to see what the f fiscal implications would be? Um, yeah, so we, we, we estimate uh, about a $234 million uh, in cent and then another 170 in sort of that natural growth that's taking place. And so um, overall, using the same formula that the, the, uh, the finance department did on the super credit, it would be about $40 million. 40, 40 million a year. On top of the super credit? Um, no, minute. just, this, well, actually I don't know the answer to that. I think, it, I think that's just as per the stretch. I see. One minute. But I'd have to check on that and get back to you. Right. Well, how is it going so far, the super, uh, the idea of, of a stretch credit? How has that been perceived in, in, by your members amongst members of parliament? Does it have a, does it seem to have legs? Well, certainly the, the, the individuals we talk to um, are, are interested. Uh, understand that one of the great things about the stretch tax credit is that it affects every community in the country because there are charitable groups and organizations everywhere and also um, there's no barrier in terms of, of wealth. So any donor um, would get a benefit if they increased their gifts. So it, it really is truly a national program. So those who say that it only helps the more affluent Canadians should understand that it would help anyone at any, any income level, as that long as they have taxes against gifts. which this would be relevant to write yeah. off, right? Yes, oh. so you have to have okay. that level of income. But it, well, thank you. anybody who increases their gift over, a previous, over the previous year. Right. Thank you. you. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. <laughs> thank you very much, Mr. Rankin.